So uh, we come back with uh, uh, our uh, part of the project about STEM for girls. Our, uh, my students have prepared a lot of activities. We have um, a co-spaces um, EDU presentation. And next we are going to present their gym job. Doc, three of them are, are going to talk about their gym job. And then uh, finally, we are going to present our um, AI poetry about uh, women. So we can start by uh, presenting Cospacing EDU. Uh, Farah, you are going to conduct the presentation. You are ready? Farah, are you ready? Oui, madam. Okay. So it's gonna be up to you to present, uh, to, uh, to begin the presentation. <laughs> Just a little bit of uh, um, change, little change uh, about the teamwork. Uh, we have Ranim and Emna, uh, they, they have uh, joined the team in our uh, STEM for Girls um, project. So Farah, the floor is yours. Farah, you should activate your microphone, please. Thank you. Farah, it's okay? You are ready? Kofun, um, her microphone is off. Farah, if you hear us, please, dear, can you switch on your microphone? Hilmi Kofun, Farah. I think we have got a problem with the internet today. Maybe, maybe. Uh, so I, I'm going to begin the presentation until uh, Farah is going to solve the problem, maybe. We're going to uh, begin with uh, Tawhid ibn Sheikh as well, uh, as you did in your presentation. And uh, this part of the project is Farah Slam's uh, part. So uh, we are going to hear her sound oh, presenting. Yeah. I, okay, you are here. Go. She's ready. Great. Okay. Hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, we are going to present uh, many. Uh, we are. Uh, I'm going to present Tawhid ibn Sheikh, mm -hmm. and um, just uh, we are going Emna, to listen. Uh, mm -hmm. We are going to listen Emna, to the to the uh, uh, registration. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hello, Ms. Tawhid ibn Sheikh was born on January 2nd, 1909 in Tunis, the present-day capital of Tunisia, at the time a French protectorate. Supported by her mother, in 1928, she became the first Tunisian female to graduate secondary school. But she didn't stop there. In a break from traditional expectation of women, she went on to earn her medical degree in Paris in 1936 at the age of 27. Good. So uh, in this present presentation, we have uh, um, planet a uh, YouTube video uh, talking about Tawhid ibn Sheikh, we are going to uh, watch a little bit of it, uh, not a lot, just uh, to not lose uh, a lot of time. Welcome everyone. This video is about Tunisian physician, magazine editor, and social activist, Tawhida ben Sheikh. Ben Sheikh was widely credited as the first female physician in Tunisia. Twitter ben Sheikh was the first modern Tunisian woman in North Africa to become a physician. She was also a pioneer in women's medicine, in particular contraception and abortion access. Uh, I think it's enough. Uh, uh, we can move uh, to the next um, uh, STEM woman. So, uh, Mrs. Ons, can yes. I say something, please? Yes. Uh, yes. So I uh, just want to share with you one more information about Tawhid al mm -hmm. um, Why did we choose Tawhid al for us? Because uh, it means a lot for me, personally. 
mm-hmm. because she is she belongs to the to the same area where I came from. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's okay. that's why we I have you know it's a kind of uh, I don't know uh, I we felt that me and my student we felt that she she really um, presents of, us or um, repre- a member of your family I think <laughs> <laughs> she's not a member of my but she belongs originally from my hometown <laughs> yes <laughs> I, <a> she- <laughs> I, I understand yes but she, but she lived in 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 the capital all of the whole her the whole of her of her life you know mm-hmm. uh, she did not live live in, in the hometown where I was talking about. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Farah, you can go on. Emna, the, flo- uh, Emna, the floor is yours. Thank you. Now we are going to discover Samia Amoudi. Samia Amoudi is a Saudi Arabian obstetrician and gynecologist. She is professor and healthcare uh, activist. She is also the first woman from Saudi Arabia to sit on the Union for International Cancer Control Board. She talks about being a doctor and patient at the same time, and she, she choosing to diagnose this disease because she wouldn't see a woman in pain the way she did. Great. Uh, so uh, if you want to know more about Senya, you can uh, see this uh, YouTube video. Uh, maybe I'll share uh, the link of my co space with you, uh, Ms. Uh, Sousen, to uh, let your student uh, know about more, more about these uh, STEM moments. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. I'm Dr. Samia Lamoudi from Saudi Arabia. I got breast cancer in April 2006. Since that, my life has changed a lot. I found a new world. Yeah, breast cancer is the number one female cancer there. The most important is that is, is not the number of cases that you have, is the number of cases who come at late stages, in advanced stages. In Saudi Arabia, until recently, the word cancer will not be mentioned. 70% of our cases, they come in advanced stages. When you have a screening mammogram, it will cost a woman 500 riyal. So we can move uh, to know about uh, uh, next uh, woman, STEM woman. So as you as you see, uh, as you saw in the video, Senya El uh, Lamoudi uh, is a specialist in breast cancer, doctor in breast cancer, and she helps a lot of women, especially in, um, in uh, Arabia Saudi. So, Anna, uh, you can uh, give the floor to the next one. Anna, so thank mm-hmm. you to Yasmin. Yasmin, it's your turn. Thank you. Uh, so, I uh, present. Uh, uh, Hayat Sindi. Hayat Sindi. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hayat Sindi was born in Mecca in 1919. She convinced her family to let her travel alone to uh, the United Kingdom in order to uh, pursue uh, her high uh, education five. After a year spent learning English and studying for her uh, uh, levels, uh, she was accepted into King is College, London 6, where she uh, graduated uh, with a degree in pharmaco- uh, pharmacology in 95-19 at uh, King is College. She was uh, awarded the Princess Anna Prize for her work and great and great studies in Algiers. Great, we uh, are going to see her uh, YouTube video. She is uh, talking in TEDx. It's a very interesting video, I think, talking about the STEM girls, the subject we are uh, uh, we are um, uh, mainly present today. I 
I believe in the power of science since I was a child. When I was five years old, I had a little cat called Ginger and a small broken chair, which I converted into a small cave. I made it my own little world. I spent hours and hours with Ginger inside this small cave. Spending time imagining about where science may go to in the future, the space, the moon, and also I admired scientists and scholars who did something amazing for humanity. They were my heroes. Sometimes I dressed like them. Yes, I used to sneak to my mom's cupboard and put so many clothes on to try to look like them. Or sometimes I wore a card box on top of my head, thinking I was walking on the moon. I love exploring and learning. And I was lucky I had a father who could teach me anything I wanted. One day, I showed him the scientist, and I asked him a question. Are they really human beings? My father answered, yes. Why are you asking? I said, I wanted to be like them, but I cannot find anyone like them around. He replied, they exist. Hayat, with education and learning, you can do anything. You can be one of them. I think it's enough. You can be one of them. That's the, <laughs> the main idea of the video. Uh, you, all of you today, can be one of them. So we move on to the next um, presentation. So Yasmin, you are here. Can Yes. Ah, yes. Uh, William, mm. the floor Hi. is yours. Uh, now it's the turn of Habiba, of uh, uh, Ranim, I think. Ranim. Ranim, you are here? Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you, Ismina. Uh, I present Habiba Asfari. Mm -hmm. Habiba Saeed Asfari is a Marathon genetic biomedical injury and academic. She is a sister professor of biomedical injury and Khalifa University and uh, is uh, the director of uh, the Khalifa University by Technology Science. Great. Uh, just have a look about her um, presentation in YouTube video. It's not so long. Biomedical engineering at Khalifa University is a four-year program which basically blends the traditional engineering with the biological science and medicine uh, to improve the quality of a human health and life. During this program, students are introduced to different subjects such as uh, biomechanics, uh, rehabilitation, uh, biochemistry, uh, molecular cell biology, and biomaterials. We are looking for students who have an interest in math and science and would like to make a difference in healthcare research. Graduates of this program have a variety of career options. They may work in hospitals, universities, laboratories, and industry. 
And now, uh, Hanin, you can, uh, uh, sorry, Renin, you can uh, conduct the meeting. Huyem, it's your turn. Turn, yes. Huyem. Thank you, Renin. So now I'm going to present you Mahel Asmach. Mel Asmach is an assistant professor in the Biomedical Science Department at Qatar University. She studied as a Karolinska student in Sweden and received her doctorate degree last year. She researches how the good bacteria in the gut of a mother can affect the development of a fetus, specifically the blood-brain barrier, which is a filter that keeps the blood in the brain free from harmful substance. She won the 2016 L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in the Science Middle East Fellowship Award and this award guaranteed the biologist around $25,000 to put towards her next research project, seeing if the healthy gut bacteria can prevent diabetes. Thank you. Let's see her YouTube video. مرحبا معكم الدكتورة مها الأصمخ من قطر أنا حاليا أعمل كأستاذ مساعد في كلية العلوم الصحية بجامعة قطر حصلت على الماجستير من جامعة إمبيريال كوليج لندن ودرست الدكتوراه في السويد في جامعة كارولينسكا الطبية مجال أبحاثي هو دراسة أثر البكتيريا النافعة في الأمعاء على صحة الإنسان وبالتحديد أثناء الحمل فأثناء دراستي للدكتوراه أجريت العديد من التجارب على المشيمة وأظهرت النتائج إن إن هاي البكتيريا الموجودة في أمعاء الأم لها القدرة على التأثير على تكوين المشيمة اللي هي البلاسينتا وبالتالي التأثير على دماغ الجنين. أتشرف بالحصول على جائزة لوريال يونسكو من أجل المرأة في العلم وأطمح من خلال حصولي على هذه الجائزة أن أقوم بتطوير البحث العلمي في قطر وهذا يتواكب مع رؤية قطر 2030 وحصولي على هذه الجائزة سيساعدني على نشر المزيد من المقالات العلمية والمشاركة في مؤتمرات عالمية لأرفع اسم قطر عاليا في النهاية أحب أشكر كل من ساعدني So that's the main idea of the video We move to Maryam So Huyam, you can introduce Maryam, please Maryam, the floor is yours Thank you, Huyam No, we are going to discover Manahal Thabit. Manahal Thabit is the president of the Association of Geniuses in the World. She entered college at the age of 15 and studied economies in the United States of America. She is the youngest woman in the world to obtain a PhD in financial engineering. She got her first PhD 25 years ago and her second PhD at 28. Her economic theories are used in the world's largest financial institutions. Thank you. We are going to see the uh, YouTube video. It's a very special uh, woman, I think, a genius, you can see uh, here. أهل عبد الرحمن ثابت من اليمن أنا أصلا إنسانة موهوبة تم التعرف على موهبتي في السنة الرابعة ودخل طبعا برامج إثرائية وبرامج تسريع دراسي يعني مثلا أنا تخرجت من الثانوية في السن الرابع عشر ودخلت الجامعة في السن الخامس عشر فيعني عملية المرحلة الابتدائية والإعدادية تم تقصيرها على أنت 15 سنة وأنت في الجامعة نعم. في أي جامعة كنت؟ في أمريكا دي بول يونيفرسيتي نعم نعم uh, It's enough I think because of the time uh, uh, that's all for this uh, part of uh, the project. We can move uh, to see um, your dream job, uh, Farah. Thanks, Mariam. And we will present in this videos our dream jobs. Yes, me, who am, and me. Okay. 
Hello everybody, I'm Farah. I'm very happy to present my dream job in this video. I choose it to become uh, a pilot because becoming a pilot will actually make you smarter. During your pilot training, you will become more organized. You will be able to make logical decisions and you will become a true reference in weather. You will know how to act calmly in emergencies. And of course, Flying is absolutely fun and that's why people want to be pilots. More importantly, becoming a pilot lets you to do what you love. And as the saying goes, if you love what you if you love what you do, you will never work a day in your life. That's true, Farah. You're great. Thank you for this beautiful video. You're inspiring for all of us. Next, Yasmin. Hello, I'm Yasmin. I, in this video, I will share with you my dream job. So, since my early childhood, I have dreamed of becoming a computer scientist for several reasons. First, uh, because um, because it's field that fascinates me science we life nowadays in the era of, of new technologies. We have the, the computer, the mobile phone, the internet and which are Also, I would like to excel in this field by becoming a great computer scientist given the computer and communication technologies in all economic sectors. My it all is Mark. This young launched the Facebook. Uh, so thank you very much, friends. Uh, goodbye. Thank you. Thanks for you, uh, Yasmin. You are so great. I think you are going to be a very good um, uh, computer engineering. We move uh, to see Huyam's video. Huyam Ben Slayer. I think she has the same and dream yeah, job so as Farah. We have plenty of pilots in this group. Hello everyone. So today I'm going to tell you why I always dream to become a pilot. First of all, I really want to travel around the world. And what makes me really love this job is that being a pilot was my father's dream job when he was young. So I'm going to do my best to make his dream come true. Thank you for being so cheerful for your uh, daddy. It's very great from you, Huyem. I hope you are you will achieve your father's dream. It's so beautiful. Now we are going to move to uh, our final sub activity, our uh, AI poetry woman, uh, made by our poets, Miriam and Ranim. Uh, so uh, the turn is yours, the, the floor is yours, uh, Miriam and Ranim. Thank you, madam. Women are the star drawing the sky and the sky is all the world a woman consists. Love for 30 years and never comes heart with string chart open the white woman in her view. Scientific women are very rare. Pure, uh, pure gold of uh, the shining medal, lower her head and kiss her, her hair. She is able to fa to face difficulty, whether three is a man or not, believe we ha we said who behind. Said? Yes. Who said? Every great life, there's for sure a great woman. Yes, for sure. Behind every great life, there is for sure a great woman. Thank you, the uh, beautiful ladies. <laughs> Today you are uh, you did well in uh, in your work. I hope that our partner likes uh, our um, presentation. If you have any questions. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I want to say um, a big thank you to your dearies, to your sweeties. They are adorable. Thank they you. are stunning and amazing job you did with your students. We are proud of you. Thank you. And um, I want to also thank my dear students as well. Yes. Because though they have lots of exams, you know, hey, uh, yes. everyday exams, 
<laughs> what we are doing nowadays, we are doing exams, you know, but they are really uh, real battlers. They are real fighters. They can do things. They are teenagers, but they can do great things. Here it is. Here we are. Tunisian people, Tunisian teenagers can achieve quality education, can achieve a lot. So I want to congratulate you, each one of you who are present here my students and students of my dear colleague mrs ons Dehbi. i want to thank you thank her for her collaboration this is a very precious collaboration very precious partnership and we would like uh, we would like it to continue for further collaboration in the future so i want to remind you that this activity is a part of the isa uh, competition and uh, this is the last part of our activity, which is to um, share our work together. Uh, it was an amazing sharing, an amazing collaboration. Thanks a lot. So uh, here it is. So I want to emphasize the fact that Tunisian education can really thrive. We can excel along. Women can excel. Long life for women. And thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you for every one of you. Thank you.